Welcome to F1 22 and welcome to my team career mode round two Jeddah. So obviously this track was in the last game. I didn't get much chance to drive it So I'm really hoping in this game. I can really uh, Enjoy it nail it improve and to see what this track's about. It's a very fast track lots of walls Similar to I guess Baku or Monaco obviously being a street track. I found it to be a lot of fun. Really demanding. I just, I just enjoyed it. I kept finding more and more time, which I definitely appreciated. Uh, so back uh, with practice, and uh, yeah, we're doing the race strategy. Ooh, little, 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 a little, little tap there. A little, little love tap. It's all good. Yeah, I really enjoyed this track. Um, yeah, let's get getting faster and faster. I also got a car career mode on this track as well, and just really liked it. It's a really fun track. Maybe it's to do with the physics in this game, the regulations of this game, I have no idea. Um, it's just a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Very, very fun track. I've said that so many times. But if you guys could be awesome, I appreciate the love and support with the likes, with the comments. Let me know if you guys want me to do more videos on this game. Um, the previous games, I tend to do Great lap. 10 exactly races and then stop. I would love to do a season and then more seasons. So maybe I did damage the wing there. Anyway, uh, expected fuel usage around 2.04 is actually 2.11. That's, that's a quite a difference. That's quite a difference, but I'm being slightly kinder on the tyres. So not all bad. What is, is this? Um, what is this? Well, I, don't, I don't actually know what it is. Maybe it's ERS. I don't know. I should be more prepared for this video. I think it might be tire, actually. Tire wear. Yeah, tire wear. I think. <laughs> We're going to find out. But it's like I'm doing fairly well. We're up on the time. We're in the purple. We get tire wear, I believe. Program complete and a job well done. We got some excellent yeah. data with that run. So come on back to the garage and I can take you through the numbers. Didn't really do anything special. Um, you can see there, highlighted the, the bad areas, but generally, pretty good. They expected a four, around 5% basically, um, our actual tyre wear was 4.2. That's not bad. Tyre wear shouldn't be an issue for the Grand Prix. And we jump straight into qualifying. I'm feeling pretty confident here. Oh my god. I'm on my fast lap. And they bring out my teammate in front of me. What are you doing? I'm honestly going to sack you guys again. It's driving me crazy after the last Grand Prix as well. That was an absolute nightmare. Like, honestly, you never, ever do that as an F1 team. It's the worst thing you could possibly do. Oh, that angered me so much. Like, what, is, what is this? Amateur hour? Incredible. Yeah, on the soft tires, this track. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I found on this sort of next chicane, I was a bit hesitant with the with the power. And once I realized, brake, boom, power, all power. It, it seemed to work so well. I was a bit late there. But I found a, quite a rhythm during the race. Let's hammer the throttle down and go. Let's see how we do for this first lap. Oh, little tap there. Ignore that. It's all good. I did the opposite to the Stappen. The wrong wall, I guess. So up here is a one. Oh. We're a little bit down. Two seconds down on here is, I believe. Okay, we're 18th now. With nine minutes left, I know there is more time on the ball. I, I know it. I'm going to find it. By the way, my voice is still completely well, screwed. Well, I'm hoping maybe on the next video, but the one after, we should be okay. I'm really sorry. Um, bad timing and all that. How am I already down that much? Did I forget to put the RS on? That was weird. So the last lap, we had Tictum right here. Let's see how much time we get. 
Oh. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit. So you, you almost lost me a second. Or at least half a second. That's mad. I love that bit, that first sector. Oh. You get it right. It's so good. So nice. Yeah, so we're 18th right now. Gassy's having an absolute shocker. And Mr. Lewis Hamilton. I'm guessing most likely he hasn't set a lap yet. A little bit wide there, sort of missed the apex. Lost a little bit of time. Green first sector, which means a personal best in this session. Get a little bit late on the power there. Could be a little bit closer to that wall on the right. There's, there's definitely a lot of time here, for sure. But I, I really enjoyed the telling of this uh, of this track. I've said so many times now. I was, I was always questioning how I tackle this last corner. Do I take a sort of widening swoop? Do I go in tight to the apex? It was difficult to work out. Up to 7th for 131.8. Not too bad. We are flying right now. Purple first sector. Second sector is a green. We are four tenths up on that previous lap. What time are we going to get here? Come on. I don't know who that, who's, who's that in front. I think it's a Haskar. Magnuson. Do not get in my way. Yeah, at least half a second up on my time. Where do we finish? I think that's it. That's in the qualifying. Fifth place. Oh my god. In that car. I love this track, We're all man. Ready for tomorrow's it's so good. Race, but before we begin, let's oh, wow. have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid. Sainz, Verstappen, and Sergio Perez. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. I mean, even Dan Tictum has some speed here, which is uh, impressive. Maybe the, this track is very ch chassis dependent. I don't know. Which is definitely one of our strengths in this car. Yeah. But I'm still a second up. I don't want to show off, but it's true. I'll take it, though. Fifth place. So here we are, then, welcoming you today to one of the jewels of the Arab world, Jeddah, one of the biggest cities in Saudi Arabia, second only to Riyadh, gateway to Mecca, and one of the biggest ports in the region. And now host to the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Leclerc, Scott, and Hamilton. Bottas, Russell, Magnussen, and Lando Norris. Fernando Alonso, Joe, Sebastian Vettel, Ricardo, Gasly, Esteban Ocon, and Lance Stroll. Sonoda, Albon, Mick Schumacher, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Strategy is going to be uh, very important in this race. I'm tempted to go for something a little bit different. I reckon the AI is going to go mediums, hards again, potentially. So maybe we start on the softs. Maybe we go for two mediums or two pit stop strategy. Being very safe on fuel. But anyway, four lights, five lights. 
and away we go. Yes, round two in Jeddah. Can we get some decent points on the board? I hope so. That'd be so good. A little bit of a tap there between me and Lewis Hamilton. But we hold the place. Oh, hello. That was weird. I swear the deliveries on certain cars was changing. Anyway, we move on. Hamilton is right up my ass here. Struggling a little bit on these mediums as they warm up. Got a little bit cold. Pirus is still definitely within sight, but Hamilton is all over me in a much quicker car. Uh, I know we have to pace. It's just trying to get these mediums up and running. Oh no. Here he comes. He's so close. As I unlock a nice little token there. Go me. Get on the power just a little bit earlier there. A little bit sluggish. Please don't overtake me. He's so close. Is he going to try it? No. Nope. And Perez is just starting to drift away. We definitely qualified out of position. Okay, there's been an incident on track resulting really? in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are so far no plans for a safety car. Another glitch I, I, I spotted is sometimes the subtitles get stuck. So you can't see the hub. Lap three. Pretty similar, really. I mean, Paris is just there. I'm trying to get into the DRS zone. That's what we want right now. If we can stick to the Red Bulls, that is impressive. Hamilton is flying right now. Like, I can't shake that guy. Even though my tires are now nice and warm. Oh, little love tap there again. He's just always there. He's not letting me go. So it's going to be difficult to beat him today, that's for sure. I think the goal is, honestly, get some decent points. Eighth, seventh place. I'll take that. I will take that on the chin and I will move on. And I will get more later on. Once this car is a little bit quicker. Apart from the chassis, this car is not particularly quick in a straight line. Doesn't have great aero. It's, it's not a great car, honestly. Is Hamilton going to give it a go? Is he going to give it a go? He's just there. He's right there. He's got DRS open. Yeah, this is... I'm a sitting duck right now. Absolutely no way we can hold on to this. I'm about to get overtaken by the GOAT. And there's no... I have no qualms with that. It's all good. Leclerc's very quick in fourth place. Here we go. Easily. He just does it. Like I'm not even there. He's that good. He's, he's that good. What, what can I do? He's very quick here today. I can beat Russell, though, in the other Mercedes, who's struggling a little bit. Oh, Hamilton. Closing up. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that could have gone very wrong. Oh, hello. He wasn't quite sure what to do there. As he slammed on the brakes. Yeah, I think we need to focus now. Let Hamilton just disappear. And just focus on Bottas and Russell. Yeah, that's what we need. I think that we have to do that. And that's all we can do right now. Points means prizes. Tyres! Um, the rear right tyre is a 23%, but, but they feel alright. Tend to go for a bit of a risky strategy here, and maybe go for two, two pits, maybe? So maybe go for another set of mediums, and then a nice, fresh set of softs at the end. Make a bold call. I think we're going to pit. Lap 10. Put a new set of mediums on, which means we have to pit again in this Grand Prix, you have to change the compounds. So your starting compound, you have to change at least once. We're coming in. Nice fresh set of rubber. And I can't wait. Hopefully, there's no issues. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Oh, hello. Smooth as you like. 
Is that my first optimal pit stop? I okay, think it mate, might be. Let's go. Get back yeah. in the race. On record, I think that's my first one. I'm annoyed it took that long. <laughs> so we're in a pretty good position. 12th place, considering we've pitted already. Ocon's behind me. Ricciardo. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Lap 12, Hamilton has pitted onto the hard tyres as expected. There he is. Can we get out in front? No. So close. So agonisingly close. He might struggle. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was close to that wall right there on the left. Oh, my God. He was so slow coming out of the pits. Those hard tyres take a an age to warm up. There we go. So you beat him in the pits, but we have to pit again. So this is not all done just yet. Setting green maps. I'm half a second up on my previous fastest lap. Thank you, Mark. I did realize that Russell's in the pit as well. Red Bull might be coming out. I'd imagine we are probably the fastest man Daniel's on track right now. Stop now. We are flying. So the gap I'm looking at now is the Russell gap. That's a pretty considerable gap. If we can edge that out and maybe hit, come out just behind him on maybe the soft tire, we might be okay. We could get some decent points still. Oh, purple first sector. We are flying right now. Are we even catching Perez? Surely not. Actually, he might hamper this fan a little bit. If I'm faster than Perez, but I can't get past him, he's tapping that wall. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm... That's annoying, basically. It's very inconvenient. He's going to slow me down. I just want to keep moving. The Russell gap is now nine seconds. Russell is struggling. Definitely sensing this game at the moment, at least, before the day one patch. Hamilton is a lot quicker in this game than Russell, 100%. No doubt about that. Yes! Purple lap. Absolutely beautiful. The next lap. Ooh, oh, oh, definitely tap Perez. In reality, that would probably be a puncher. Maybe some damage to my wing, but we're okay. By the way, damage is on, but it's not on... It's not standard, but it's not on strict. And the Russell gap is now 12 seconds, lap 16. R reminder, we do have to pit again. And Pierrot is just slowing us down here. Get out the way! Gonfiel switcheroo up the inside. Uh, just about enough space. We should get DRS here. Come on. My car's so draggy. Yeah, this is probably the most... Yeah, that was a little bit naughty there. I thought he was slightly further back. And I just sort of closed the door before he had... Uh, got out of the way, basically. So a little bit of contact there, but he's fine. We're fine. Okay, it's all good. Oh. That didn't last for long. Literally one lap and he's back in front again. Come on! We're losing time here. Look at the progress we made against Russell. It just it, it isn't as much. Perez is just ruining this plan. It's not working. It sucks. He's just in the way. Science has just completed a pass for the lead. It's time! But a second pit stop. We're going on to the red marked tyres. We will be easily the fastest man on track. We will be flying. So, seventh is in the back. We're safe on that front. Alonso is so far back. But can we get sick? Okay, go, go, go. That's the mega goal. Can we get sick? Can we beat Russell, who just has gone past? There he is. You can see him. He's in sight. He's about four, three and a half seconds up the road. It's now time to fly, baby. Oh, yes. My voice sucks, man, honestly. 
Oh, Ocon. What happened to Ocon? He is out of the session. He has retired. No safety car. That would help so much. Can you imagine? Safety car. Oh. What happened? Where's Dan Tickton? Seems to lose his power. Very odd. Okay. Fair enough. Anyway, back to our race. We are setting purple sectors. We are flying. Lap 22. Two seconds behind Russell. Guys, do you believe? At this point in the video, let me know. What do you think? Can we beat Russell? I am I, I am so focused right now at this point. I am... Ugh, I taste it. There's extra points. Yellow flag. This yellow flag is for Ocon. So no overtaking. And you're supposed to lift as well, but screw it. There he is, look. So close. Okay, the incident's been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, the fastest lap. In this car. Uh, I'm probably going to upgrade the AI a little bit. Because. I should not be in 7th right now. I should be maybe at most fighting for 12th maybe? 13th? We're, we're, we're too quick basically for this AI. Um, it's not like a, a crazy setting. It's on, on Expert or something like that. I don't know. But I'll definitely increase it a little bit for the next race. Lap 24. Look how close he is. Okay, the car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap starting to form. Thank you, Mark. <clears throat> Seven is out. It's all good. It's fine. But can we get sick? The RS is open. I can't get any closer right now. <laughs> Ooh. Come on. The RS again. We're about to move on to the last lap of the Grand Prix. 25 laps up the inside. Come on. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Thank you, Mark. I've got very safe on fuel, and it seems to have worked. Come on, yes. Please, I beg. Come on, sick place. Beating a Mercedes. Get in. Come on. That's why I love career modes. Beating the underdog and delivering. A bold strategy might just about pay off. Potentially. I don't know. Has it worked? Probably not, not really. But is Russell going to give this up? I'm going to go with a big fat no on that. He will not give this up. At this point, I don't know if I'm getting, if I'm getting a little bit too comfortable. Or whether the tyres are starting to go off. I can really wipe there. I don't know what it is. I think I'm thinking the job's done. Um, yeah. It's not done. Definitely not done. Try to stay How? With them. They might make a mistake and we can How do you just go past me like that? On a hard tyre. Oh, so annoying, man. So annoying. I'm so close. Literally one corner to go. Oh. No, he's got it. That Mercedes is too quick in a straight line. Oh. Why? I had it. On the last lap. Oh. Pick up rubber and bring it home. I am gutted. Still though, seventh place is a mega result. Points on the balls. And congrats to Mick Schumacher on being driver of the day. A sterling effort from the team and a magnificent drive to secure victory here at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. What do you think it was today, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition? 
Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Ferrari is dominating. Science in the first race. <coughs> Ferrari is dominating right now. Wow. A 1-2. Incredible. Six points, though, on the board. We are eighth place in the standings. I will take that, and I will run. Yeah, pretty much finishes in a team by team there. So it was Ferrari, Red Bull, Mercedes, and then me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Dan Tickham was 18th. Started 14th, fell four places. Not great. Not the best, but there we go. All right, let's keep the team nice and busy. So let's work on maybe getting some acclaim, getting some money, getting some extra cash, potentially. Do a little VR, a little, a little not VR, a vehicle PR training TV thingy. So that, that will help. Uh, keep the chassis department nice and happy and do some extra performance for the second driver, just to try and boost up his confidence a little bit. We're in a position now where we're able to attract a new sponsor to the team. Ooh. Head on over to the corporate tab and select the sponsor screen yep, to choose who we That is correct, so our claim is now five. So this means we get more money, weekly money, and another gold bonus potentially. So we're gonna go for this one. This, uh, this has the strongest weekly amount, and all I gotta do is beat my rival. And this is the, the new car, basically, with loads of sponsors over it. Looking pretty good. Um, we're moving in the right direction. Got our first point, Acclaim 5, happy. Spark plugs for a little bit of extra power. Definitely need more power. I mean, look at, look at us on the ratings there. That needs to improve dramatically. Um, every other team in our department, in our building, is busy. So we're going to do some durability as well. And we're going to do the Pirelli hot lap again. So this is Australia. And it's a speed zone, basically. So we're going from point A to B. So far, so good. Um, it is very, very wet, very slidey. I need to hit 93 miles an hour, which was fairly doable. Wasn't too bad at all. Look, I'm smashing it, look. One last corner. So I've recorded Australia already, so expect that fairly soon. I need to edit it, do the commentary. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Mega excited to record more. And um, yeah, thank you guys for your support. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.